All right, this time, lift your chin up just a little bit. Okay, not quite that much. Look this way. Okay, now look back over towards the camera again. Okay, a little, little bit happier. Look, you look very serious. Loosen up a little bit. Okay. Now you look very stern there, kind of all relaxing. Look over this way a little bit. I forgot. Oh, yeah, good, good idea. Steve. Angel? That guy's no angel. Looks more like he's got a crick in his neck. <laughs> hey, Joe. I've been trying to call you all week. You go out last night, too? Yeah. Man, I don't know how you do it. I mean, you go out every night. Yeah, I got a reputation to protect. Who was the lucky lady last night? Hey, listen, I can't tell you, so forget it, all right? Oh, come on. Girls don't care if you tell anymore. Listen, forget it, will you? Besides, I'm not the kind that kisses and tells. Well, a lot of us would like to share our faith around school. We're just not sure how to do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sharing your faith isn't a memorized program of salvation. We got to talk about how Jesus is happening in our lives now. And then they will want to know what a difference he will make in their lives. Yeah, but what do you do if kids just aren't interested? You know what we've been saying about communicating the gospel? No matter how wonderful a truth it is, it's meaningless if the one who hears can't relate it to his own situation. Well, yeah, but if then that's true, then nobody will even listen. You listened.
usually hate missing the game, but not today. It's freezing. Yeah. <laughs> How many bags have we sold? A lot. We had to call our yearbook the Corn Popper. <laughs> hey, you going to the party after the game tonight? No, I don't think so. How come? You know, we haven't seen you at Angie at any of the parties lately. Oh, that's right. He doesn't like beer anymore. He's into religion. <laughs> so am I. A lot of people are. Don't stop me. Well, I just don't think it's the same thing. What do you mean by that? It's just that we don't really consider it religion. It's, I don't know. It's more of a, a way of life. It's just not the same thing. Hey, look, Steve, don't get discouraged. I had the perfect chance to witness to both of them. I don't know. Maybe because Chris is so sure of herself. Well, I don't do any better than you do. People just don't care about God anymore. Just don't care. I know deep down inside, they must question themselves. I know they feel empty inside. Better go in. Thank you. Hey, how come so little? Huh? You want more? Yeah, much more. Is that cool? Good. Thank you, beautiful. That's because I don't know your name. It's Molly. Molly? All right. See you around, okay, Molly? Okay, 50 cents, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Sure. Hi, Joe. Hey, Joe. hey Wes, what's that? Nothing much. Uh, what can we do for you? Oh, I don't know. Popcorn, I guess. Plain or buttered? Buttered. Okay. No, make it two. I'll find somebody. <laughs> here, have a fresh coat. Okay, thank you, buddy. Uh, 75. All right, here, keep the change. <laughs> oh, and Steve, do me a favor, will you? That's the blessing. <laughs> <laughs> At least he believes in something. <laughs> yeah. you here. I saw you sitting in the stands all alone. I just thought I'd maybe come up and see how you're doing. Come on, Looking come really on. good, you know? Looking really good. Watching the game? Oh, yeah, I watched a little bit of it when I was walking up. Where were you sitting? Uh, I just, just came in just a few minutes ago, just standing around, kind of taking everything in, you know? <laughs> What's the matter? You look like we lost. 
I think we did. What do you mean? Molly. I think she's out in the van with Joe. Well, I'm not. I can't believe it either, but I just hope that she doesn't fall for that line of his. Don't worry. How can I not worry? <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know. What's the matter? Dumb turkeys. Half a dozen girls I could have gone out with, but I was counting on Molly. Then she finked out on me at the last minute. What about the pizza? No, no, I don't want to go in there where those clowns are. Let's go get a six pack, okay? Where I get so sick of them. They think they are anyway. How you doing? I stopped by to pick up Sunday's bulletin. I thought I'd see how things are going at school. Okay, I guess. What's the matter, tough day? Well, they're all tough. Unless you just go along with a crowd and fake it. Oh, Steve. Remember what we've been saying about being a tool of the Holy Spirit. That doesn't mean that you have to talk about your faith to everybody you meet. Yeah, but I don't ever talk to anybody. You will. There are lots of ways we can be used by the Holy Spirit. Hi, Angie. How are you doing? Thanks, Joe. Fine. Hi. How are you? Are you hungry? Sure. Hello. Hey, thanks a lot. Sure, anytime. Oh, that's just a little deed of Christian charity. <laughs> I sure hope you're not going to fall for that line of his. Are you ready to go? How's it going with Molly? Eh, not bad. You got a date with her yet? Well, no, not yet. You know, she's not that kind of girl. I mean, the crowd she hangs around with, they don't even go to dances. It's all right, she'll come around sooner or later. Hi. May I have your order, please? Could you first give me some information? If I can. What time do you get off work, and who won't need to drive you home if I do? I'm busy right now, but Here's something to keep you and your buddy occupied. <laughs> okay. Give me a couple of big wallies. Okay. And a large order of french fries. Two chocolate shakes. And hold the onions. All right. <laughs> Do you care for anything else? No, that'll be all. All right. For now. <laughs> well, I wish you could talk to Joe. Mm -hmm. Look, we have to emphasize the positive and not the negative. You could be an effective witness. Being an effective witness doesn't mean going around and pouncing on everybody you meet. A really effective witness is, is a tool of the Holy Spirit, obedient to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. But how, Roger? Wanting to witness is half the battle, Angie. Well, I just don't see why you think being Christian is so important. Well, it's the way she was raised. Well, like we discussed in social studies, religion's important to a lot of people. Well, it's important to me, but... I can't say that any one religion's the only religion. Yeah, but don't you see? Well, being a Christian, it's... Well, it's like... Hi. Hi. You can sit here, Steve. No, it's okay. Hey, Molly, wait up a minute, will you? Oh. Hey, look, I'd really like to take you out one night. Uh, hey, how about Friday night, all right? I'm busy. Hey, okay, Saturday night then. Um, I'm busy. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll pick you up Sunday night, 7 o'clock, okay? All right, okay, see you later. Bye. bye. Actually, I was trying to witness to those two girls when you came up. So I botched it? You rescued me. I, uh, 
got a date with Molly. Oh, come on, you're faking it. No, I just kept asking her until she finally said yes. Is that right? When are you taking her out? Today. It's Sunday. Doesn't she go to church? She's going with me. going to call you. I've got to big off from youth fellowship today. I got a terrible headache. church group of yours, and, uh, well, it's just that we thought you guys were different. Guess not, huh? Well, I think we're different. Well, some of the kids were wondering about, uh, you and Angie. What's that supposed to mean? Well, last year you were a lot like Joe. Look, no matter what I was like last year, it's got nothing to do with Angie or anybody else from the church, you understand? Hey, don't get mad at me, man. Just because we don't go to your parties and we don't drink your beer, it doesn't mean that we're not as human, that we're not just like you or anybody else. The difference is, we set priorities. We make sure that Christ is first in our lives. That's the difference. to do anymore. Molly hasn't been to youth fellowship or church for over a month. Keep on caring and praying. But she won't even talk to me. But maybe she wants to. I don't know. Every time I call, she's out with Joe. The time is coming when she'll need to talk. I hope it won't be too late. Yeah, she thought we were going steady, but, uh, you know, I said she's kind of a cute kid and all that, but I was going to be kind of busy from now on. <laughs> like this. Hey, Reverend! You want Molly back? All you got to do is ask. But I don't think she's going to want to be part of your little club anymore. You see, I introduced her to the finer things in life. You're sick, you know that? What's the matter? Can't you stand a competition? Yeah, go read your Bible. Might bring your blood pressure down a little. You know, if all we needed were girls for this play, we wouldn't have to use these things. I know. It's like this every year. Hey, were you able to get Steve to try out? Nah, he's got to work down at the print shop. They're really busy down there. Yeah. Hope it works. <laughs> Last one. Let's get this up, okay? Hi. I'm glad I caught you. Look, I got conned into stage managing the senior play. Why don't you try out? We need a couple of guys. No, man, that's too much work. Look, you were the big hit at the sophomore deal. We got lots of girls, but no guys. Well, who's got the lead? Angie. 
What about Steve? He has to work. All right. Great. He should have been here by oh, now. Don't be such a neurotic. He'll be here. Where is he? Right on the minute. See, what did I tell you? Well, let's go. Hey, look, why don't you and me just keep right on walking, all right? Come on, Joe, we're off stage now. Oh, Angie, do you on. need a ride? No, thanks, Chris. Steve's coming. <sighs> hey, Sarah's late. Dad had a bunch of new owners up at the shop. I could have gotten another ride. I wasn't taking any chances. Oh, silly. So, how was play practice? Pretty good. Oh, yeah? You didn't tell me that you were playing opposite Joe. Gee, I thought I did. Oh. That's all right. Well, what's important is that I've had a chance to talk to a lot of people that I've never talked to before. Yeah, I guess that's important. Reading. Oh, nothing special. Just some books I got for a paper I have to do. Anything new? Um, no, nothing I can think of. Nothing's new with me either. <laughs> hey, did you hear it's supposed to snow tonight? No, I didn't. Ma, I'm having some kids over Friday night. Why don't you come by? No, I can't. Why not? Um, I've got too much homework to do. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, I want you to know that you're welcome. All right? and you're going to stay married to him instead of a divorce. Well, I really don't think it's any of our business. Ooh. Excuse me. My pleasure. Hi. What's the matter with you? Trouble down at the shop? Trouble at play practice? Honey, could I have the spotlight section? Oh, sure. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Sure. Oh, 
Well, make up your mind, Steve. If that's all the trust that you have in me, well, maybe we're just wasting each other's time. I hope that boy doesn't get Angie in trouble. to talk to you for a second, if I might. Okay. Oh, Do you mind if I turn this off? I couldn't help but hear yours and Steve's conversation downstairs at the door. I'm sorry, Mom. Well, honey, don't be sorry. You know, it's, uh, concerned me. You're spending so much time with Steve. Just him and being so involved and not seeing other boys. Well, there, there really isn't any, anybody else. But I've told you before, Angie, that can be dangerous at your age. Well, we just like each other's company. I don't think, you know, it's, it's nothing to worry about. Angie, you aren't in trouble, are you? I mean, you and Steve. Tell me. Mom, I don't, I don't believe you said that. Steve's not like that. He really met Jesus last summer. And what about me, Mom? You know, the kids laugh at me at school. They call me a freak. You don't even trust me. Sorry about last night. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about it, all right? Let's go in. Oh, wait. You better make it 99.5. All right. Okay, Just... it's 15 seconds. Okay. We'll, we'll take it every 60, all right? Okay. You know, you're different, Angie. That's what intrigues me. I mean, I've met a, a lot of people like you that are, weren't necessarily Christians. Um, what's the difference? Well, a Christian isn't someone who merely follows Christ's teachings. A Christian is, is someone who is one with Christ in, in a personal relationship. You see, we aren't complete persons in ourselves. The Bible teaches us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. But it also teaches us... That... 60 seconds. Mm, uh, 100. Okay. It also teaches us that in God's sight, all our righteousness, all the good that people might see in us, all these things are worthless. And then when it comes to the Lord Jesus, like I've been trying to tell you. He fills that emptiness. He makes us clean. He makes life complete. 60 seconds. Still 100. Okay, baby, you want to break up? That's perfectly all right with me. 
You don't go running home to mother with any stories about it being my idea. How dare you talk about my mother? Well, I don't even like your bloody mother. All right, that's it for tonight. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, you had some problems with your costume in Act Two. What was it? Oh, I had a rip in the side of my costume. And I, I couldn't let anyone see it, so I was walking around like this. Okay, give it to me and I'll take care of it. Okay, thank you, Wes. You're welcome. Hey, Joe. You know, you've really come a long way. It almost seems like you're serious about this play. Yeah, well, things could be a whole lot better. I gotta go. All right, thank you. Nice rehearsal, guys. Can I ask you something? Uh-huh. Why don't you have it out with Joe? Sometimes I'd like to. You know, the way you used to be, man, you'd kill somebody that touched a girl you were dating. Christianity must have really changed you, huh? Well, the Bible says that if you receive Christ, you're, um, it's like you become a new person. You're born again into a new life. How? I can't tell you how, Wes, because it's a miracle. But it happens because Jesus left heaven and came to earth, like we celebrate at Christmas, mm -hmm. and then went to the cross, like at Easter. Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again from the dead. Well, what he was doing was paying the price for our sins. He was suffering for, for our guilt. So we have to put our faith in him. It's up to you. I just witnessed to Wes. That's great. What's wrong? Molly didn't come to school today. One of the girls saw her at the clinic. Maybe it's nothing special. I don't know what's going on with her anymore. Ever since she's been going with Joe. glad you called. We missed you. I'm sorry for the way I've been. Yes, we do. I've been almost like through hell the last few weeks. You mean you cared that much for Joe? <laughs> no, not that, Angie. He's sickening. But... Well, then what? been scared. Just awful. What have you been scared about? For, for the past few weeks, I thought sure I was pregnant. <laughs> but I'm not. Thank God I'm not. Help me, Angie. Help me be a stronger Christian. I'm terrific. <laughs> What's happening, Simon? You guys look good?
Hey, uh, hey, Wes. You're my main man, you know? You've kept secrets in the past. What's on your mind? Well, you know, I've been chasing girls ever since I was in junior high school, and it's always been on my terms. Man, but that Angie, she's different. I mean, I'd really like to take her out once. <laughs> now, what's so funny? Angie, in this van, you'd get her into a hearse faster than you'd get her into this thing. <laughs> and Clyde. You know, the last guy who drove into the lot like that scared my big dog Bertha right off the lot. Listen, Gramps, let's cut the small talk, all right? You got anything out here that's worth driving out of this lot? Now, you listen, son. The first thing you gotta learn is not to badmouth the sales money. You'll find yourself driving out of here on something you'd wish you'd never laid your eyes on. Now, we run this lot on personality and charm. We even handle finance. Tell me, what are you interested in? Cash, trade, finance. Trade in. Eh, you let me be the judge of that. Open her up for me. Hey, what have you been using this for? Uh, never mind. Uh, that bet is worth three big ones. Where you going? Listen, maybe I see something I like, all right? Listen, I don't have all day, so you do your thing and I'll do mine, okay? Everything on this side's 1500 Everything? Yeah, saves on paperwork. Everything over here is 800. No frills, no red tape, no double talk. Just a square deal and a real deal. Take your choice. Hey, Joe. Uh, nice choice, nice price. Uh, look at that. Hey, you don't want that van. It makes your attentions too obvious, too eager. Uh, you want something like this. Uh, it gives a little lady uh, an impression without offending. More subtle, huh? You took the words right out of my mouth. Just take a look at this interior. Look at that. Gives you a whole new image, eh? Well, what do you say? How much? 1800 No deal. Uh, 1600 Well, my van's worth about 1600 Tell you what. Your van and 200 cash, and she's yours. OK. All right, it's a deal. Uh, but you've uh, got to come into the office and sign the papers. Right. I forgot to tell you, that door doesn't open. And by the way, Sonny, you forgot your muffler. You know, if I had any sense, I'd report you to the Better Business Bureau. Too late, Sonny. What time? Friday. Uh, 7 o'clock. OK? OK, thanks. I'll see you. Bye. Hey, uh, Angie, is Steve driving you home? Yeah. Well, look, I, I traded off my van. That's nice. Good night. Good night. Excuse me. Can't wait. 
will you? We'll get out faster. Hey, look, I'm the cast. You're the stagehand. You do it. Excuse me, Your Majesty. This is Angie. Is Steve there? Steve. Oh, Steve. Uh, he had to take a delivery over to Creston. Okay. Um, if he comes by, tell him that I called. Okay. Thanks a lot. Come on, Wes. Let's get out of here, all right? I'm coming, I got things coming. cooking. Let's go. Are you looking for wheels? Do you think you could give me a ride? Well, yeah. Wes and I can drop you off at your house. Come on, let's go. You sure? Sure. Come on. Wait a minute, this thing's driving a little bit funny. How about checking those back tires, will you? I just got in. Why don't you check them? Well, look, my door's broken. I can't get out. And I can't ask Angie. Just check them, okay? Oh, all right. We'll take but a second. Well, this one's okay. No, I think it's the other side. What did you do that for? Look, I want to talk to you just for a minute, okay? I tried to figure out a way, and I, I know this is crazy, but I just got to talk to Joe, you. Joe, take I me home. Look, I promise I won't lay a finger on you, okay? Wait. Look, I said I'll take you home. No problem, all right? I just want to talk to you just for a few minutes. Well, then park in front of my house and we can talk there. Yeah, so Steve can come and find us, right? No way. Hey, Steve! Steve, wait a minute! What is it? You're not going to believe this. What's wrong? Where, where's Angie? She's with Joe. What are you talking about she's with Joe? Where, where is she? You were late. Yeah? So we offered to give her a ride. Yeah? They, they played a trick on me. What are you talking about a trick? What trick? Where is she? We were all in the car, and Joe told me to get out and check the tires. And like an idiot, I got out. Come on. And they took off. Come on, let's go. Oh, come on, Joe. Take me home now. No, just for a few minutes, OK? We just go out somewhere and park and just talk for a few minutes, all right? You're sure not acting like you just want to talk. All right. All right, I'll take you home, OK? Look, Wes, 
course, there's got to be one place they would go. Where would they go? I don't know where they go. Well, well, you know, go Joe, they could have gone anywhere. Mr. Browning? Yes, that's right. I'm Dr. Reynolds. How do you do, this Dr. Is Mrs. Browning? Mrs. Browning. Right. I've just come from your daughter, Angie. And? and? We were examining her back in the room there. And it seems like she has a little paralysis. Oh, no. Now, what? we don't know at this point what the cause of this is, but we plan to do some tests. And uh, I think the best thing to do now is to tell you that she is all right and that we will investigate further. Is Angie. She says she has no feelings in her legs, but they won't know anything until they do some tests. I guess I got lucky this time, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, real lucky. You'd never get hurt. Hey, it wasn't my fault. What do you mean it wasn't your fault? You're driving around like an idiot? The games you play, man, and you never get hurt. Wasn't Steve wasn't chasing me. Wait, step out. You really blew it this time, pal. Here, I brought you some candy. Thanks a lot. Sure. How you doing? Okay. You okay? Hey, I brought your uh, class assignments. <laughs> and uh, your teacher said that there's going to be no problem graduating. Really? Uh huh. Okay. What's the matter? Angie, I just... If I didn't no. follow you that night... No! You... Don't. Don't do that to yourself. Hey. Have some candy. Okay. Oh, pecan fluffs. No? What's it? No. Hmm? No. Yeah. Okay. I talked to Wes. Oh, I just got a card from him. You did? Guess what? What? He's invited Christ into his life. Isn't that great? 
And I don't know about Joe, but I know he's thinking. Lots of kids at school are. Hey. I've had chances to witness because of your faith. I've told everybody, even Joe, what your faith has meant in my life. Really, Molly? I'm living for the Lord now. I really am. Gee, Chris, thanks a lot for helping me study for that test. Sure. You know, I really feel like we've grown closer, not just because of the accident, either. Yeah, yeah. I guess we have. You yeah, know, I was going to... Go ahead. No, no, you first. Well, I was just going to say that... Well, I guess my convictions got in the way before. Kept us from really becoming close friends. No, I, um... I think it was me. How do you mean? Well... Before I had written off Christianity, you know, it was never really a part of my life, but... Well, since I started hanging around with you with the committees and the play and all that, it... It just seems like you have something that, uh, that I need. You sure? You've got everything going for you now. Yeah, it may seem that way. But, uh, I mean, well, look at you. <laughs> I mean, you, you've learned to accept what's happened, and anyone else in that position would be feeling sorry for themselves. That's the difference that Christ makes. Oh, what else can I say without sounding religious? Well. I think I'm ready to accept Christ. Anne Elizabeth Alexander. Nicholas Charles Anthony. Jonathan Mark Applegate. Stephen Lewis Arthur. Deborah Ann Baxter. Scott Hayden Blake. Eileen K. Blocker. David Allen Blue. The next student to receive the diploma is also the recipient of the Senior Appreciation Award. This award is made annually by vote of the members of the senior class to the most appreciated member of the class, Angela Grace Brown. Bye. Himself will smile.